So you gotta install the game. Let me put a marker, dude. I'm gonna, gonna clip this. You have to download the game from here, right? You're gonna get into the folder, wherever you installed it, and you gotta delete everything. <laughs> I'm gonna do it from step from step. This is what you have to do. For some reason, their version is broken. Cloud Sync failed. Oh yeah, because I, I deleted most of your folder, that's why. So this only applies if you're playing that Dutch version, Spanish, French, Italian, this will work for you. If you play in English or Japanese, you can use that uh, rubber patch from Gemini. But if you're playing all of the other ones, you gotta do this. You go into the version and you have to download. God damn it, that sync is fell. Let's do it on uh, Italian, okay? Okay, update failed, <laughs> everything is here. Anyways, your folder is gonna look, it's because I deleted so much stuff. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's uninstall and reinstall it. Uh, is, that, is that folder empty now? Yeah, folder's empty now. So let's delete all of the, now, nah, just delete all of the folder, so it's fresh. All right, so you click install oh, no, no, no. on the version that the, the oh, it's going to install English, whatever. Let's install, all right, Dutch, Spanish, French, and Italian. You got to do this. Let's install Italian, whatever. Um, Imagine buying a game and do their work to make it run better. Yeah. All right, installing 100%. Now. Do not press play. Minimize this shit. Go into the folder where the game has been installed. I'm just having, th this is the original folder of the original game that I, I personally own. That's why I have this here, right? This is the GOG version. When you play the version, there's gonna be a bunch of random shit. One, if you, if you go into the direct X wrapper or whatever, and you have any enhancements in it, if you all tap, it's gonna break the graphics. So one, don't use this. Okay. You don't even have to use it with what, what I'm gonna do anyways. You cannot all tap, because when you all tap, everything flashes on your computers, especially if you have like three monitors, and it's annoying. You cannot just click out of the game. You have to all tap every time, and it lags your computer. So that's another issue. And there's lag spikes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show a clip later on. When you're playing the game, you're gonna have random lag spikes. You, your character's gonna be like, oh! And then you're gonna move. Which is pretty fucking annoying, especially you're like getting grabbed. When you get grabbed by a zombie, it randomly happens. When you do, do a dodge, it randomly happens, and it fucks with you a lot. Which is annoying. So, you, the fix, it's simple. You gotta delete everything they did. <laughs> So you delete, you delete from D-Draw all the way down here. From D-Draw to launch RE3, you delete all of that. All of that stuff that they did, delete it. RE3 launcher and read me, delete. RE Rough 16, you don't need to delete it, but I delete it because I, I can. Actually delete everything from Rough 16 to down, all the way to the end, delete. Now your folder should look like this. Two folders, one for saves, one for movie. Bio3, which is the ini file. The ini file is exactly the same as the original one. Uh, mercenaries and that, that both EXEs for Resident Evil campaign and the mercenaries. And rough 1 to 15. That's all you need. Now, do not click the game. Because for some reason, Ga Galaxy made it so that you cannot play the game windowed unless you have their launcher. That, that bullshit that we, we deleted, all of that stuff. You cannot go into window, even if you go into the ini file, because we, we tested it. Even if you go into the ini file and you put a uh, mode window here, it will not go window. So the, pa the fix is, you have to download this program called DXWND. Super great program. If you have any video game that doesn't go windowed, when you want it to go window, any game, you do this fix. You grab the EXE of the game, whatever, let's try Mercenaries, it doesn't matter which one. You drag it and drop it here, boop. Go set the size, make sure that this is checked, run on window, 
make the size for Resident Evil 3, I like this size, 1280 by 960. Press OK. Now it's going to save right here. You can even name it whatever. Let me name it like mercenaries. Doesn't matter what you name it. Just do it for yourself. Boom. You have this on. Make sure that it's green. You can double click from here. And guess what? Windowed. And now you can grab your mouse. You cannot do this with a GOG version either. You can grab your mouse and move it. You can click out of the game without your computer having a freaking uh, hiccup. You won't lack anything outside. Look at that. And it fixes that stupid stutters. It fixes the stupid stutters that will happen randomly. So everything that is wrong with the game is with a GOG Galaxy version is literally the stuff that they put in. So delete everything and do this and you will have no problem. If you want to set up your keyboard, press F1 on your keyboard. This menu is also from Resident from the Capcom. This, they did not add this, by the way. You just gotta like delete all of this, put your keybinds, delete the previous ones, put your keybinds. Punta arma, punta arma, que me arreglado. There you go. It fixes the issues. And now you can play the game. Now the graphics will not break, nothing will break. That's all you have to do. Oh, one more thing. When you press F1, you gotta go into the last option. It should be like extra. The second one, the first one is for, for like movies. The second one, and check it. If you have this check, I don't know why it's by default. If you have this check, it makes everything look blurry. And check it, and everything looks better. The graphics look better, the intro looks better, the characters look better. And now you can play RE3. Without issues. Look at that. I can click out out of the game. The game stops just fine. Nothing is breaking. People happy. Look at that. Look at that. Fixed. Game fixed. All right, so that's it. And you can press escape and then just press yes to escape. F9 for some reason doesn't work, so just press escape on your keyboard. That's how you fix your game, literally by deleting everything that they did. Uh, you can just do the same thing for like the campaign. Just grab that EXE from the campaign, drag it on DXWND, uh, make the size 1280 by 960, which is what I like. Press OK, and now it's here. Now you click there and boom, it opens, window. And you can just move the window. Even then, you can just go in here. Yeah, so everyone, everyone can. So you don't, to start the game, also, to start the game, you don't even need to go to DXWND. As soon as you join all of your games, those two EXEs are here, you can just minimize this. You can just go into the folder and click the EXE from the folder. You can even just make a freaking, uh, put it on your stream deck, uh, make a copy and send a copy to a, uh, Send a copy to your desktop. You can just do it from here. Boom. So as long as you have it on DXWND, it plays window. And it plays without lags and without any bullshit. Make a screenshot so you know what to keep, what not to keep. That's the fix for RE3. Uh, you want to play the Japanese or the English one? I just, I, I will probably do the same thing. I will probably delete everything that I deleted, but just put a, Put that uh, rubber patch of our good uh, friend Gemini. The DLL that he has on his side, I will probably just put a DLL there. And that will probably fix. I will have to test it, but that most 100%, 99.9% sure that it will fix the Japanese and English version. Oh, they, they messed up bad. Dude. What did they do? Okay, I, don't, I don't understand what they did. <laughs> Thank you.
deleting everything they did is how you fix the game. Wow. Anyways, chat. Oh, uh, don't start the game through the GOG Galaxy because it's probably going to break or it's going to ask you like, oh, it's brown, I had to install something new or something. Just don't start it through here. Yeah, that's, that's kind of silly, dude. It's kind of weird. It's a lot of for the people who doesn't know. Yeah, especially for the people that are buying it to like play it on their native language, you know? I feel bad for like the Spanish, French, Italian, and German people that they're gonna be playing. I was like, why is this stuttering? How is this doing this? What? That, I, like, I feel bad. English and Japanese is probably gonna be a fix with rubber patch, which has a bunch of more fixes. There's a lot of complaints about it on our edit. Oh, really? I'm, I'm probably gonna make a video right now and it just, you guys can put it on the Reddit and like tell them like, this is the fix. The fix is press delete. All right, chat. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna clip the video. If you get a chance, just buy the the original version, the original disc <laughs> on eBay. Make sure that it's the explosive version, though. No, 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 that red collection. There you go. Yeah, it's explosive version. If you are on Reddit, on Reddit. If you are on eBay, and you see this version, the red collection, PlayStation Three, Resident Evil Three, PC, CD room. Just buy this. It's probably, I don't know how much it is, but it's probably like $20, 30 That's the CD. You put this on your computer, and this is what you get. You don't need to do any of the DXW. You have to do nothing. You don't have to patch nothing, delete nothing, add nothing, do nothing. You put it on your CD drive, or like USB CD drive. Nobody has CD drives. And that's it. So do you just need a classic reverb for the fixed English and Japanese version? Yeah, but uh, you will st still delete. Every, every single thing that I delete it, uh, I will also delete, Andy. Just delete everything that I deleted and just put a DLL and run it. It's probably going to fix it. You don't have a disk drive? Just buy one on eBay. It's like five bucks probably. And you also get the flex. It's like, oh, I own the original copy. This copy brings you... French, German, Italian, Spanish, all in one, and English. Yeah, and English. So it gives you one, two, three, four, five languages in one city. And you get a flex on like actually on the original city. And you have to do no patches, no DXW and D, no nothing. It just works. Do you, you didn't classic reverb for, it's not needed. <clears throat> Andy, it's not needed. RE1 and RE2, Geo, GOG Galaxy actually did a really good job. It plays fine, installs fine. It has different languages, which is like pretty sick. It doesn't have starters or nothing. We tried it from beginning to end. That one is perfect. I wouldn't, you don't, you don't need it. Unless you want like the extra things, you know, like a 180 turn, that's, that's rubber patch. But if you just want to play it normally, just play it normally. Same thing with our, our, our RE1. It's just RE3 is the only one that is an issue. Like big issues. The starters, it makes it like annoying to play. But yeah, just get that red collection. That's what I recommend. Uh, I'll say support RE1 and RE2, but RE3, if you don't have it, I guess you can get it, but you will have to do these fixes. Kind of weird, bro. It feels bad. All right, chat. Much better love. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Only thing that I noticed about R2 is the FMB and voice are not linked to the sound settings. Oh, probably, yeah. You know why? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised that if I, I do the same uh, thing, I just delete everything they did, it will work fine. But problem with R2 is that R2 back in the days, the CD versions, you actually had to like install the game in your CD, pull like a CD code. Like, that's a lot of steps. And GOG just made it easier. So you don't have you don't need a CD key, you don't need a bunch of pool. That's what I support more RE1 and 2. RE3 never needed all of that stuff. Sad boys. I can't believe they dropped the ball. Is this cool that they have different versions of Can't believe they dropped the ball like that, chat. Sad boys.
All right, see you tomorrow, chat, early. I'm gonna raid Kimi. Okay. She's playing uh, Digimon World, so enjoy your day. Yay. See you tomorrow. To Say hi to Kimi, make sure to follow her. She's my wife, IRL. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, RE2 is better. I recommend it. <coughs> Get on GOG, it's just easy. Doesn't require really patches either. All right, see you tomorrow, chat. Peace out. I'm gonna play with the push, 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 push. Oh, it's a puppy, 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 puppy.